Hi everybody, we want to make this pretty cool design that's based on the seed of life. Um, as with all of our constructions, we want to first find the center of our paper. So you could take a ruler, if you have paper that's 8.5 by 11, you're going to find 5.5, uh, which would be the middle of 11 inches. And then you'd find uh, halfway between 8.5 inches, which is 4 and a quarter because you want your picture to come out centered when you're finished drawing it. Now to go ahead and make sure we're all sort of making something about the same size, I'm going to go ahead and mark off um, five centimeters. So we're going to make the radius of our circle five centimeters and so to do that we simply put our ruler down and we're going to start at zero and adjust it until it reaches 5. So we're going to start with the circle in the center, which is what we normally do to construct the seed of life. And we do this. Now, if I were to do my first circle on top here, it's going to make the two edges of my stars sort of here instead of in the middle. So I'm going to turn my paper sideways and find the top of my paper that way. So we're going to make a circle on the top here. So we're going to make a mark with our pencil or we could just make a mark with our compass. And we're going to make a circle. Now if I put my paper back, we have this. And we're going to follow along and make a total of six circles around the first circle. We're going to do that by finding where the two circles intersect, like here, and we're going to draw another circle. Then we're going to go here where they intersect and draw another circle. We did not adjust the compass, so the compass is still five centimeters. Our pencil will touch the center of our first circle. Then we're going to go here And finally here. You can sort of see a setup of what we're going to be using. We're going to be using these large seed shapes here, kind of like an egg shape. Uh, before we do that, we're going to use the small seeds and line our ruler up so we can make some guidelines. So we're going to line our ruler up here to here through the small seed and through the center and we're going to make a marking. Now I like to put my pencil down first to make sure it's in the right spot. Sometimes the ruler looks like it's in the middle but it's not. And of course the more careful the more accurate your picture will be. So I'm making some guidelines now. And I'm going to use these guidelines to make some even markings. So I'm going to choose one. I'll choose this corner here. And I'm going to line up my ruler. And I've seen people do this with one centimeter markings. And I've played around with it. I like the way it looks with half a centimeter. So I'm going to start at the edge of this little seed. And I'm going to go up half a centimeter, half a centimeter. And I'm going to do it six times. So it will have been a total of three centimeters, and we cut it in half. Half centimeter, half centimeter, half centimeter, half centimeter, half centimeter, half centimeter. If we wanted to, we could add another one, but I like the way it looks with six. So now we have six even markings that are half of a centimeter. And instead of doing this to each side, which we could do, we could use the ruler on each side. Instead, we're going to use the compass to help us make markings on the other five spots. So I'm going to take my compass and adjust it very carefully to the first marking that we made. And 
we can see it's going to line up here. And I'm going to go through to each corner or each guideline and make my centimeter marking. So I'm going to go all the way around. Then I'm going to adjust it to the second marking and repeat that. We'll go to the third one. And we're going to do that for all six. When you're checking to see if the marking is correct, you might want to make an actual mark because sometimes it looks like it's right, but it's a little bit off. So we want to be as careful as possible. So I've got two more. I would think that if your compass isn't very reliable, you probably want to just use a ruler. So what we have is markings half centimeter, half centimeter, half centimeter, half centimeter, six times. And we did that to each guideline. And so now we're going to finish our construction. We're going to put our compass on the first guideline we made, uh, the one half centimeter marking. And we're going to adjust the compass so that it touches the top of the leaf. And we've done that, we're going to do that for each of these uh, construction markings. Wherever we are, we're always going to touch the very top of our leaf or petal. And we're going to make a marking, but we're going to swing it back around the other side. And we're going to stop where the top of the leaf is. We're going to do that for the first marking. We're going to do that all the way around. And so we see the shape begin to develop. We're going to now go to the second marking and put our compass there. And we're going to adjust to make sure that our compass is touching the very top of that flower. And you want it as accurate as you can. Sometimes in our videos here, we're going for speed when really we should be going for accuracy. Take your time, make it right. So we're going to keep going back a layer and adjusting to the top of the big seed. So that's the first two layers. We're going to do four more. So again, we're going to now be on the third one the third marking of a half centimeter, we're going to line up our compass to the top of the leaf and we're going to go ahead and make our arc. So we're just making parts of a circle that's going to continuously go farther and farther away from the center.
So this is four. Uh, I went up four levels. You could stop here if you like the way it looks. I'm going to do two more, or at least one more. And of course, when we're done, I'm going to go through and do these with do the same construction over on top of this using pen. Sometimes we'll use pencil to make sure we set it up right, and then we'll go over it with pen. So you could stop there. You can go to the sixth one. And if you wanted to, you could go another one or two layers by adding an extra centimeter or half centimeter. But this is the basics of the design. I like the way this one looks when you color in the center and then we'll alternate colors. But it's a cool design and um, hopefully you're going to have some success with it. Enjoy. This is what it's going to look like when you darken it in and we'll go ahead and add some uh, color to it. We'll alternate. Um, with the pattern. We'll start in the middle here with dark and then light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, and you continue the alternating patterns. 